now? <laughs> yeah, well, I had to um, lay low for a bit. Things were getting a little rough for me. Why? I don't know, I just felt like I'm up against, you know, so much, so many big companies. I can't, I can't, I can't go up against the human race which is stuck in kindergarten. Yeah, well, I'm out of kindergarten. I can see that. Well, seriously, though, you changed my life. Um, I'm always happy to hear that. It's good to know, and I appreciate you saying that. But, um, you get my point. Yeah, tell me about it. I feel like I'm an alien here sometimes. Join the club. Nobody gets me now. Hey, I'm taking film class now, and I thought you could be like a great subject for the next project. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it, you could get some momentum going again. Um, there are some things I need to tell you about. So, some things that happened in my life. Let, let's talk in the car. You know I had death threats, right? No. Yeah. Serious? Yeah. I mean... Death threats. Yes. Phone calls, letters, people following me around, black suits. Why just... would people be sending me death threats? You understand the nature of what we're up against? I mean, these companies do not want people to lose the addiction to their products. The products are poison, and their big brothers and sisters are the medicinal companies that are not really selling medicine, but they're selling another form of poison that also generates a hundred billion dollars in business and profit per year. As a person who's a whistleblower on that, are considered highly problematic to a scheme that's basically designed to make money at all costs. So someone like me, running around, getting popular, and blowing the whistle on products, are not necessarily healthy for people. And people waking up and listening to that, that's a big issue to a billion dollar profit making company. And all they need to do is spend less than a million to have me x out. Hey, you're that guy Freeman, aren't you? You know that guy that did that anti-poison campaign stuff? There, you're him. Yeah. How are you doing? Where have you been? Um, I've just been laying low. Got a little rough. Oh my god, watch out! Oh, oh. Get in your car, and if anyone ever asks you, did you see Freeman, just tell him no. I can't. Just go. Just get in your car and go. 